I had wanted to major in business, and so I started my business courses and then decided I like teaching. We had to do some community service kind of thing for the courses, and they sent me to a middle school here in Tucson. And I went in and was doing what I was doing. I said, oh, I like this. This is something I want to do. From then, it was, just, it was that bug. I wanted to be a teacher, and I still want to be a teacher. It's been amazing. It's, it doesn't get old every time. It seems like it's the same thing over and over again, and it's not. How people think, what people want to learn, how they react in 44 years here, it has changed. As a teacher, say, oh, wait a minute, I need to approach this a different way to get the student to understand it, to get it, and when they finally get it and say, oh, I understand it now, ah, yes. She's really kind, she's really sweet. She's very helpful also when it comes to it. You can ask her and she'll just about tell you anything. And well, I mean, it's always nice to have someone who's joking. She's like, she likes to joke and play a lot. So it makes it a fun and the class enjoyable and fun. The respect from the students, very respectful. Administration is the same way. They listen to what we have, our ideas. This is the way I want to approach teaching. It's not limited to, you know, you can't do this, can't do that. It's a community, it makes us feel part of it. it, makes it feel comfortable. She follows the rules, but she does allow us to do certain things that are a little different from others. If you have trouble with, with a course or anything, she'll talk to us one at a time. And she also makes each lesson engaging and fun. Not all students are the same. They don't all learn the same and at the same rate, the same way. So many years ago, I decided my lunch was going to be here so they could walk in. And if a student needs a little extra help, why not give it to them? You know, 10, 15 minutes of my lunch is fine. After school, it, it's going to help them to fulfill their dream, to have a better life. I'm all for it. I mean, I'm willing to, to give my part. She's always there for her students, you know, academically or personally. She's been here for a very long time and she's just very hands-on with her students. She knows how to like make sure if you're falling behind on any of your work, she's there to like kind of catch you and make sure that you're caught up on all your work and she never lets any of her students fail or slip on their grade. I think it goes a long way for them to trust a teacher, to share their dreams, their fears, and if we're open to them and they know it, they can talk without being judged and then they can just get something off their, sh their shoulders, off their chest, something's bothering them, that will help them then just focus on why they're here, to learn, to get an education. She cares more about her students than anything else. She's always there, she's always made it known, even since last year, she's always made it known to all her students that she's there for whatever we need, whether it's academically in school, if you have problems in school, or even personally at home, if you need somebody to talk to like she's there and she makes it known to all her students. It's like feeling a, a treasure chest and thinking, oh, I did something really good. I helped the student get to where they wanted this person to get to where they wanted to be. Of course, you know, it's up to them. It's, it's going to be up to their being, the determination and, and sticking to it and all the work. But I think maybe I had a little tiny little part in this. So it, it makes me feel good. You can come talk to her when I go to class or just anything in general. She tells us we can put on our resume for like jobs and whatnot. I would like my students, my colleagues, to remember me as someone who cared. I wanted to be a teacher, I'm a teacher, and that's not because I have to, it's because I wanted. This is what I chose, and I chose it year after year when I was offered to move on to other positions, thinking, you know, long and hard, no, I want to teach. I want them to remember me as a teacher who had a heart for teaching. She made me feel more engaged in school in general. This class is kind of the reason why I want to come to school. I want them to leave my class with confidence to move on to the next phase of their life. I don't want them to doubt themselves. They just have the self-confidence and say, I can do this, and not be afraid to take that step. So I, I can't hold their hand and can't walk them over the bridge, but give them the skills, the knowledge, but that confidence to do it on their own. Ms. Danahy has been awarded as an Arizona legendary teacher. She puts in a lot of work for everything that you guys have and for all the things that you guys have here. Um, and we're just super proud to have you as a part of our staff. I was excited because she's definitely one of the teachers that deserves this. She's a really good teacher. I was very proud of her because I've had her for two years straight and like I've seen when they were describing what the award was and what it really meant to be a legendary teacher, she fell in every single one of those categories and all those characteristics that they named. I felt great, I felt really good and I, I thought 
I'm, I'm fortunate that somebody noticed. And if it didn't notice, it's okay because any other what I'm doing is important.